As you create your forms, you'll need to bear in mind that the majority of the people who use your forms are most likely going to have Adobe Reader rather than the full-blown version of Acrobat. As such, you'll need to make some special provisions to facilitate ease of use for Reader users. By default, anyone with Adobe Reader version 10 and older will be able to open your forms and fill them out, print them, and if you've distributed the form, as we'll see in a later video, they can submit the results back to you. But those users will not be able to save the completed forms to their hard drive, unless you enable that capability specifically. For example, here's the file membershipform.pdf opened in Adobe Reader version 11. Notice the message in the purple bar at the top. You can save data typed into this form. If this were version 10 or earlier, the message would say, you cannot save data typed into this form. You can print a copy. If we click on a field to type some data, as we've done here, we'll see that the save icon is enabled. But in version 10 and older, this would be disabled. And in fact, choosing File, Save As, and choosing PDF from within Reader 10 and earlier, will get a warning that this would save a blank copy of the form and the data is not saved. Now this can be rather inconvenient depending on the form and its purpose. So how can we enable users of older versions of Reader to save completed forms? Let's go back to Acrobat with the same document. The way we enable Reader users to save forms data in version 10 and older is to save our forms in Acrobat with Reader usage rights enabled. We do that by choosing File, Save as Other, Reader Extended PDF, and within this we have a few options. We can enable adding text in documents that are not forms. We can enable commenting and measuring, or we can enable additional features, which includes filling in forms and saving the forms, and this is what we need to choose. When we enable additional features, our users with Reader 10 and earlier will be able to add comments and signatures and save the completed forms with data intact onto their hard drive. Here we see an explanation of the usage rights in Reader, and we can click Save Now, and it will ask us to create a new file. We'll use the same name, membershipform.pdf, but we'll add dash RE for Reader Enabled, and we'll click on Save. Now if we were to open that new file with the dash RE using Reader 10 or Reader 9 or an earlier version, we would find that we have the same capabilities that we already have in Reader 11, which is to be able to save the data that we type into the form. Fortunately for everyone, Adobe added these additional features into Reader 11, and so there's no need to do this with the current and future versions. This is simply a legacy compatibility process. So this is how we enable usage rights within Adobe Reader for that majority of users who are using our forms and have older versions of Reader.